All right, so today we're going to have a basic demonstration on how to perform a replay attack using a RTL SDR for the receive in and a Raspberry Pi for the transmit. So you're going to need these few hardware items. You'll need the RTL SDR uh, with an antenna. Uh, I'm using the one that came with it. I'll put the link for to buy that in the description. You'll also need the Raspberry Pi. I am using the Pi B2, uh, but every Pi uh, except for one um, model is supported. Uh, I'll put the link in the description for the uh, the list of supported devices, but you'll see that I have a antenna or a wire connected. So on GPIO pin 4, which is pin 7, I have a basic, just a little wire that's acting as an antenna that is pretty much just wrapped around uh, GPIO pin 4 and then I've stuffed some cottons down in between to kind of hold it there. It doesn't have to be, you know, too too good, but this is a pretty rinky-dink antenna and it works fine. The next thing you're going to need is a power source, obviously, for the Raspberry Pi and a way to connect to it via SSH. In my case, I'm going to be using an Ethernet cable on my, um, my home system. So, <clears throat> With a base install of Raspberry, um, we're going to go ahead and get into installing the software that you're going to need on the Raspberry Pi. So go ahead and get that hooked up and um, an SSH connection and I'll meet you on the computer. Alright, so here on the PC, uh, I've actually connected my Raspberry Pi. I'm using PuTTY to SSH. Uh, if you're watching this video, you should know that by uh, how to do that by now. So I'm just going to go ahead and log in to the Pi. And we're going to issue a series of commands that I have uh, here in this notepad. Um, I'm going to post the link in the description or post the commands on the screen uh, so you guys know what I'm doing. But we're just going to go ahead and uh, issue an update to make sure everything's up to date. And um, I'm not sure if I'm going to cut these parts out of the video just yet. Depends on how long they take. So you'll want to make sure that you have Git installed. Uh, so that's going to be sudo app get install git. I already have it. So we're going to go ahead and grab the clone for the Raspberry Pi uh, TX uh, from GitHub. So this might take a few moments. It's going to go ahead and download that. Um, and then we're going to uh, change directory into that folder. And then we're going to run the install script like so. Yeah, I'll just plaster the uh, the commands on the screen here. Um, that way, you guys don't have to try to read this little this little print. Now, the installing script might take a few minutes. All right, so um, yeah, so I skipped through that. At the end, it's going to ask to modify your uh, boot config, which it needs to do. We'll just hit Y on that. And uh, at this point we will need to go ahead and reboot. So we'll just do a sudo reboot. And that's it for the transmit side. Um, now what we'll need to do is go ahead and install the uh, drivers for the uh, receive side with the special RTL SDR. So this is a specific um, make of the RTL SDR that allows you to use a WAV file. So if you have a previous version, you'll need to uh, probably remove that. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and log back in after the reboot. And now we'll install the RTL SDR package. So, so I'll put the right commands that you all should use on the, um, the video description. So basically you do the git clone and then I'm going to cd into that folder and then I'm going to go ahead and issue the build command and then I'm going to cd into build or I'm going to make the build folder and then I'm going to go ahead and issue my make command and that's going to um, start getting everything ready to compile so then we'll go ahead and make and this is going to be the longest part of this section. So we'll go ahead and skip to when the, the make command is finished. All 
Alright, so the make command is finished. We'll go ahead and issue the make install command. And we'll do sudo ld config. And our Raspberry Pi is now officially ready. So, what we'll do now is you want to go ahead and plug in your RTL SDR into your computer. And um, you need to pull up the program called SDR Sharp. If you have the RTL SDR, you should have this already. If not, I will provide that link in the description just in case. So you're going to pull that up and you're going to grab the uh, device that you're trying to reverse or uh, perform the replay attack with. So I've just gotten uh, the key fob that I'm going to be using. And your next step is to try to find the frequency that it's broadcasting on. Now I know with uh, car keys, it's universally known that they're going to be on a uh, 315. Uh, somewhere on 315. So I'm going to go ahead and play this. Oh, I forgot to plug in my SDR. So I'm going to go ahead and plug that in. Okay, so my SDR is officially plugged in to my computer. And now, uh, so you'll go ahead and hit play, obviously. And it's going to pull up this, uh, I guess, this radio spectrum. And because I know that car keys are in the 315 range, then I know I can just go to 315. And we're there, and then I'm going to hit one of the buttons on the car keys. You see that? That is actually our car key frequency. So you want to hit it a couple times, make sure you can zero in to the right frequency. This right here looks like I'm pretty much right on it. So you hit, hit a couple buttons to make sure it works. And so I know uh, you'll want to write down this frequency. So in this case, I'll want to make sure that uh, when I record, I want to record on 315.0125. So that's 315.0125 uh, megahertz. And that is going to be the magic number. That is um, the number that we're going to be using to record the key fob um, on the Pi as well as um, play it back because that's uh, what we want to send to the car. So now that we have that, the next thing you want to do is just get, make sure your uh, Raspberry Pi is ready by plugging in the RTL SDR and plug it from your computer. And then you'll want to plug it into your Pi, which I'm doing now. Once that's plugged in, you want to make sure that your antenna is in a decent position to receive a radio signal from your car keys or whoever's car keys should be yours. And once that is finished, we will move back onto our SSH session and continue from there. All right, so we're going to move back to the Raspberry Pi, and we want to make sure that we unplug the RTL SDR from our computer, and we plug it um, into the Raspberry Pi because this is going to be uh, the section where we record the uh, the signal. So we're going to log in. Of course, it's Pi, and once we're back on the Pi, um, after the installations there, we should notice a new folders in our home directory that we can change to with CD um, RPITX. And uh, there's a lot of different cool things in here in scripts. You can hit ls and kind of see the files that you can run. But what we're going to be using uh, right now is the RTL SDR um, program that we uh, recorded. And we're going to formulate a command that's going to record on the frequency that we input, which is going to be the obviously the car key frequency. Um, so uh, the command is going to be... Uh, um, of course showing up on the screen but it's going to be RTL dash SDR dash S the sample rate is going to be 
zero 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 then dash G which is gonna be our gain and we're gonna do about 35 this is what works for me dash F which is our frequency we're gonna do the this without any periods it's gonna be three one five zero one two five zero zero which is our raw uh, frequency and that's gonna be followed by E6 um, and after that is going to be our file name that we're going to record to. In this case, um, I think I already have the unlock um, file where I was experimenting earlier. Let's see. We'll do unlock car dot iq. So once. Uh, you can put any type of file name you like, as long as it ends in the .iq. Once you have that command typed in, you want to get your keys ready, because this next part, as soon as you hit enter, we're going to hit the unlock button on our key a few times so that um, our RTL SDR can capture um, this code that's sent over. So I'm going to hit enter. And it's not going to work, because instead of a hyphen, we needed an underscore for RTL STR. I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to go ahead and hit the unlock button a couple times. And then we're going to hit control C to stop. So that has captured our unlock um, file uh, code and we can hit LS and you should see a new file called unlock car.iq uh, which is going to be the one that we're using it's this one at the very end here so uh, once you have that file you're pretty much ready to go uh, this next part we're gonna um, we're gonna move outside and issue the um, the replay uh, in order to unlock the car so Basically, what you need to do is just make sure you have some type of portable battery bank um, for the Pi. You also want a way to access SSH because you're going to have to send this command. I'm going to be using my cell phone. Um, if you have a Wi-Fi adapter, you can use that. And you'll want to make sure that you have an antenna attached to the uh, GPIO4. You might be able to get away without using one, but I'm not sure how the range is going to be on that. So you can go ahead and leave your RTL SDR behind because all the recording part is finished and uh, we can go test this out. Okay, so I'm actually out outside now with the Raspberry Pi and I gotta keep this short because I don't want any neighbors thinking I'm out here like jacking their cars. But, so I have the Raspberry Pi and the, um, the battery bank as well. And I'm actually gonna be uh, using my phone to SSH into the Pi. So I'm having to record the screen for you guys. Alright, so I have an IP address for my Raspberry Pi, and it's going to be the 192.68.42.155. So I'm just going to open up um, my SSH client. And we'll connect to 192.168.42.155. Okay, and we'll go ahead and connect to that. Okay, and uh, once we're connected, we're, uh, we're going to go ahead and CD back into that um, RPI TX directory. And if you, if you do the ls command to see the, the list of files, you should see our unlock car.iq file. The next step that we're going to do is just go ahead and uh, we're going to issue this, this command. So we're going to do send IQ S is going to be the same sample rate with the five zeros. Frequency is going to be the three one five zero one two five e six. Um, so let me see if I can. S okay, we might have to go back to it a few times. So that's going to be the dot sudo dot slash um, send IQ. Uh, and I'll try to move the camera around. It's still going to block it. But anyways, the command will be posted on the screen. So it's send 
IQ and then we'll do the sample rate which is 2500000 followed by the frequency which is going to be dash F315 my memory is awful 0125 5 E6 space dash T U8 and dash I which is going to be our um, IQ file so we did unlock car dot IQ and if it's all is well as soon as we hit this enter button here we, you should see the car flash signaling that it just unlocked so we're transmitting. We just got this error. Let's see what that was about. We put six zeros instead of five, so we'll just go back and take out one of those reissue the commands and there we go the car key uh, the car just unlocked so we just unlocked a car with the RTL SDR and the Raspberry Pi with the little antenna attached and uh, that's how that pretty much goes so if you guys like this video make sure that you subscribe rate and comment or if you want to see more of this content let me know